Okay, now, what I like to do is, is if Jeff is facing me here like in a neutral stance, and he happens to step in with that punch, I like to block and hit at the same time. Let's do it on this side so you can see it better. So when he comes in with that hand there, so you can block and hit. Now I'm doing a looping punch. I'm doing a stone punch, a stone hand, okay? And then from the stone hand, you could reach over. You got a wrist technique. Okay, so we're using that even off of a windmill. See, and then we can come this way. Now, oftentimes, what's going to happen is if the guy throws a punch, he's going to pull his hand back. So when he pulls it back, you follow her when you do the technique. Okay, so as you're throwing, as it's here, he pulls back, you still follow through. Because when a guy's shooting a punch, he's going to be shooting and bringing it back. But for technique, for beginners, you always want to show it slow so that we can get to that speed of what we're talking about. Okay? So now, in the sword and hammer, you start off like this, right? Okay, so what's going to happen here is he's going to be relaxing. He's going to throw that hand first. No. You're going to throw a hook. A hook. And I'm going to block and hit. He's going to throw that hand. I'm going to block and hit. He's going to throw that hand. I'm just going to block and hit. He's going to throw the other hand. I'm going to block and hit. Now, he's going to go low with that hand. We're going to block and hit. We're going to go low with the other hand. 